There is no product rule for integration, unfortunately. There is, however, a procedure which is derived from the product rule for differentiation. This procedure is called integration by parts. It allows us to convert one integral into another integral. The goal is, of course, that this new integral is easier than the old one. How does this work? That is what you will learn in this video. So we convert one integral into another one. And that works well if h is the product of two functions, where uh, h is the product of f times g prime, where f becomes nice if you differentiate it, and where you can compute the antiderivative of g prime easily. So, yeah, uh, so this procedure works if you have a product of two functions, uh, where you can you write your function as a product of functions, where one part becomes nice if you differentiate, and one part can easily be integrated. Well, let's see how this works. Well, we write down the product rule of differentiation first. f times g prime equals f prime g plus f times g prime. So we can solve for f times g prime. f times g prime equals uh, bringing this term to the other side. Uh, f times g prime equals fg prime uh, minus f prime times g. Furthermore, we use that the antiderivative of a derivative equals the original function. Now we combine, so we integrate f times g prime, we integrate this and we integrate this, and we get the integral of f times g prime equals the integral of fg prime minus the integral of f prime times g. Now the integral of fg prime is of course f times g, because first we differentiate and then we integrate. So here we have f times g. So the integral of f times g prime becomes f times g minus integral f prime times g. So you are still left with an integral, but your new integral, this one, is another one than the old one. So the hope is, of course, that your new integral becomes nicer. So how, we do, how do we do this? So we compute the antiderivative capital H of x of x times e to the power x. So that is the product of the functions x and e to the power x. So f will be our x, because it becomes nicer if we differentiate, it becomes 1. g prime becomes our e to the power x. So we need to compute its antiderivative, which is easy now, because it's e to the power x. It's just the same, e to the power x. And then we use the rule. So the integral f times g prime becomes f times g, f times g over here, minus integral f prime, which is 1, times g e to the power x. So now we have a new integral, which is just e to the power x. And that is easier than our first one. So what do we get? Uh, x times e to the power x, which we copy. We integrate e to the power x. It's still e to the power x, and we have some integration constant. Of course, we check by computing the derivative of the antiderivative to see whether we get our original function back. So we compute the derivative uh, capital H prime. So if we differentiate x times e to the power x, we get e to the power x plus x times e to the power x. We differentiate minus e to the power x, we get minus e to the power x. These two cancel out, and we are left with x times e to the power x, which was our original function. So there we go. Now we have computed the antiderivative of x times e to the power x. We made a choice here. We chose our f, we chose our g prime. What if we have done the choice in the other way around? What happens then? Well, let's try. So now we choose it to say the wrong way. What happens if you make this wrong choice? So we get choose f equals e to the power x and g prime equals x. Then f prime still e to the power x and g equals one half x squared. So you can still do this. So this integral becomes f times g minus integral f prime times g. So now we have a new integral, e to the power x times 1 half x squared. But this new integral is actually worse than the original one. So the application of the rule is correct. However, it didn't get us anywhere because our new integral is harder than the original one. So uh, when you do such a wrong choice, you will notice it's fast enough uh, because your new integral will become really ugly 